Welcome to uh, my lightning talk about Refind. Um, I'm Michiel Borkent and my uh, name on the internet is Bork Dude. So if you have any questions, you can uh, shoot me a message over there. What is uh, Refind? Well, uh, let me uh, explain this using an example. Yesterday I asked on Twitter, uh, what function name or argument order of a function do you find hardest to remember? And a lot of people answered with uh, the argument order for a string, join. So wouldn't it be awesome if there was a tool in which you could just randomly throw the arguments uh, to a function like string.join and it would tell you the correct uh, order. Of course, you can use a normal REPL for this, but <coughs> uh, why do it the easy way if you can find an excuse to uh, use self-hosted closure script to build an online REPL? So, uh, for example, here we have some arguments, a list, are you having fun at closure days 2019, and a string uh, with only a space in it, and we would like to get out of it one string with all the words separated by a space. Um, I wonder what function will do that, and the order of the arguments. Ah, so, refind helps you find the correct function, so, it suggests to you uh, the function string.join. And the order of the arguments is apparently first the separator and then the collection. By the way, are you having fun at Closure Days 2019? Yeah. I can't hear you. Are you having fun at Closure Days 2019? Yeah. Ah, good. Okay. Um, another example. Uh, for example, we would like to find a function that uh, takes a list of some things and um, alternates the elements of this list with some other element that you give it. Well, what is the function in closure for this? I hear interpose, that's correct. And what's the order of arguments to interpose? <laughs> uh, right, okay. So the, arc, the order is first the element and then the list. Well, this is what Refine can tell you. Um, another example, uh, say we have a, a function or a keyword and a collection of maps uh, with, uh, for example, IDs, and we want to get out of it an indexed map that indexes those maps by ID. So if I give one to the map, I get back the, the map that has ID one. This is uh, what we do a lot in Clojure, right? We just saw the, this exact example in the reframe uh, talk. So what is the function in Clojure for this? Sorry? Zip map. Group by. Well, this was a trick question because there is no such uh, function in Clojure. <laughs> but <coughs> there is a library that has this function called medley, medley.core and the function is indexed by it's by the way it's recently added to this to this library but refine can also find functions from libraries that are not in closure core but in uh, other libraries and by the way group by is very close to index by but not quite what you filled in here but you still get the suggestion from refine that it's more or less what you intended and more or less is well you have the id and then you get uh, what, what is this? Oh, you get a vector with the map in it. So, so it's pretty close, but not exact. Uh, so it tries to help you in any way that it can. <coughs> okay, so what's the rationale for this tool? You are learning closure and you don't know the names of the functions, <coughs> or you know that a function exists, but you forgot the, the order of the arguments. <coughs> okay, so uh, this is how it looks. Uh, it's hosted at uh, refine.it, so it's easy to remember. Um, and you can give it uh, some arguments that you have in mind and uh, or uh, the exact match that you expect but you can also give it a predicate like I want to uh, give these two sets and I expect a set back but whatever set I don't care just give me all the functions that return a set given these arguments so you get intersection, set difference, set union, set select uh, but also max key into uh, etc. So how does this work? Um, Refind searches within functions that have a spec. Uh, 
Um, but where do these specs come from for these closure core functions that we just saw? Well, there is a library called uh, Speculative that has more than 100 uh, specs for closure core functions. And it's hosted on GitHub, barkdude slash speculative. And it already has nine contributors uh, with, yeah. And I think this is most, most useful for the specs in uh, for closure set because uh, you can get in some nasty corner cases uh, when using closure set functions when you are not providing uh, sets. So if you instrument set functions with these specs, it will, uh, you will maybe discover uh, that you were using it incorrectly. Well, there is no official correct way to use them. Okay. Um, so why not just try all the functions that we know without using spec? Okay, uh, we can do that. So there is a tool called line find fun. Uh, it is made by someone who is unfortunately not um, alive anymore. Um, but this, this tool was very uh, nice uh, you could give it an in and output argument, just like refined, <coughs> and it would enumerate all the functions that, that just matched. Uh, but uh, a lot of functions in Clojure uh, return just by accident the, the, the first argument you gave it, if, if you call them with just one argument. For example, you see conj here. But would you recommend calling conj on a number to a beginning closure? developer? No, of course not. So I want to exclude uh, these suggestions. So I don't want to uh, suggest conch, I don't want to suggest merge to uh, put the number one in and get the number one back. I also don't want to recommend to beginners to use set functions on non-set values because it's basically garbage in, garbage out. If you're lucky it works, but you should be calling them with sets. So that is why I use uh, spec to, uh, to bring idiomatic recommendations and not just recommendations that happen to work. Um, so how does this uh, work? So for example, we have the number one as argument and we want to have the number one back. So we walk through all the specs that we have for for functions, and uh, by the way, spec is a specification library for closure. You may have heard of it, but it looks like this. So you can write a specification for a function, closure core inc, and you say, I write a function definition for it, and these are the arguments. Cat means it's a sequence of things with names. So you say cat and uh, the argument x, and the argument x should be a number. And, well, one happens to be a number, so ink is still in the run to be recommended by Refind. Uh, so we go to the next step. Well, the return value is one, and that's also still a number. So ink is still a possible candidate to be recommended for this in and output. But there is one problem ink one is not equal to one, so it's not equal to the, to the return value that you uh, wanted. But it's not totally useless because the spec matched, but it's not exactly what you asked for. So we go to the next function, and the next function is divide. Well, divide also has, uh, th this spec matches because uh, the number one is a number, and the return value is also a number, and if we divide one by one, it returns one. So that's also correct. So this is a perfect match. So we show that one on top. And times is also a perfect match, minus, max, and plus, also good. So these are good matches. But sometimes when you uh, fill in in and outputs, uh, refine doesn't find anything but maybe you would still like to see something, although it's not exactly what you asked ask for. That's what, uh, when you can say, well, show me more, and then it will also show things for which the return value didn't match exactly, but it still matched the spec of the function, and it also, the type is the same as the type that you 
filled in in the return value. So these functions are showed below these ones, and um, that's how that works. So, so yeah, I already explained this. Um, as I already hinted, uh, it also uh, tries to find, if it can't find anything, it tries to find uh, the correct order of arg arguments. So you call it with a string and a regex, and I want to return uh, the, this string from this string using this regex, and refind is the function that you want. And, uh, but it has, has the arguments swapped compared to what the user uh, did. So it also handles this, and it tries to do this with permut permutations of the arguments that user filled in. Um, sometimes uh, users can fill in things like, well, I want to uh, uh, put in repeat 10, but if you evaluate repeat 10, your browser is going to hang if you don't really uh, do anything about this, because I want to compare repeat 10 to whatever other functions are uh, creating. And if you compare an infinite sequence to an infinite sequence, uh, that doesn't terminate. So I wrote a li little library that, uh, that makes uh, finite versions of these, these infinite things, so I, uh, the, the browser never hangs. Uh, and in practice, the results are uh, still good. I haven't encountered an example uh, where this doesn't really uh, behave like I want it. There may be, but this is how I prevent uh, the browser from hanging. Uh, well, how did I make this? Uh, it's used, it's programmed using self-hosted closure script. So we have, you have an online REPL. There is no JVM behind this. Uh, so I don't have to maintain a JVM on my server and I don't have to worry about people uh, putting in expressions like system exit one or something, so my uh, server dies. Uh, it's just HTML and JavaScript. And uh, it also uses code mirror and par infer for the inputs, which is very nice. Uh, if you want to build an online REPL, I really uh, recommend this. Uh, Refind is also a library. It's not, not only this website, and it works in Clojure uh, as well. So there is a web version, a library, and a command line uh, version, and also a Java FX version. The Java FX version uh, was made by Joe Lane uh, using the library uh, that I provided. Well, uh, that's already uh, it. I hope you liked the idea, and if you have any suggestions or questions, just let me know. Thanks.